Hi guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Choma Nana. And if you're watching our channel for the first time, make sure you click on that subscribe button so you can get notifications whenever we post new videos. So today I have something amazing in store for you. I'm sure you've heard of impromptu speeches, but have you ever heard of impromptu spoken word before? Well, I did something like that. No, not something like that. I did that. Yes. So I went to this music concert planning to enjoy myself and I was actually enjoying myself listening to some people perform on stage when all of a sudden I got to hear that I'll be performing spoken word at the event. So I have a few tips for us before you get to watch the video of the spoken word performance, the impromptu spoken word performance. Number one is always be prepared. You do not know when you get a chance to showcase what you got and you know what they say about opportunity knocks for once and we say success is where opportunity meets preparation this platform was a very very huge one so it's not something i could have turned down and if i had turned it down who knows if i would get that chance a second time so it was a big one for me and i'm glad i grabbed the opportunity by the horns and second lesson is i didn't just go on stage feeling all confident at a point in time i had doubts i had fear but I learned something with this performance that you don't have to have all the confidence in the world to do something, to do something great. You might have a little bit of doubt, but do it afraid. Okay? Do it afraid. And one thing I always ask myself whenever I get scared is, Chema, what's the worst that could happen? Whenever I have self-doubt about doing something, I ask myself, what's the worst that could happen? Okay? So if you're scared about doing anything, ask yourself this question. What's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen was that I would forget my lines on stage. And it did not happen. I remembered my lines. So, and also, before I go and show you the video, I have to add one more lesson, which is, it all depends on the way you see life. I saw this picture of three people in a train. They were going on a journey. And one guy was taking pictures with his camera, smiling and happy. But the other guy was looking so gloomy, like he couldn't see anything exciting about the journey. Now, what how does this relate to this impromptu spoken word? When I was told I was performing that day, I had no preparation. I just had like two, three minutes to get my lines in order, look for a spoken word that would rhyme with the theme of the music concert, just do a little bit of demonstrations outside to prepare and I could have seen this as a huge problem. I could have seen this as something tasking, but I decided to see it as a challenge, as a chance to do something I've never done before. So instead of interpreting this anxiety, no, not anxiety, this rush of adrenaline, I felt as fear. I saw it as excitement, as something, as a chance to push my boundaries, to see what I could do. Okay, because like I told you, what's the worst that could happen? So whenever you get opportunities, grab them, ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? See it as a chance to do something you've never done before. That's why as a spoken word artist, one thing you cannot do without is confidence. You're on stage and a million eyes will be on you, so you've got to work on your confidence level. So now, it's time for me to leave you to enjoy the amazing Improv to Spoken Word performance. Oh, I almost forgot this. After that spoken word performance, a lot of people came to meet me that wanted me to teach them how to be spoken word artists. I got a lot of people coming to meet me telling me how great my performance was. So imagine if I had turned it down. So whenever you have fears about doing something, ask yourself, what if you do great at it? You know, it's very easy to ask yourself, what if I fail? But what if you ask yourself, what if I succeed? What's going to happen? So instead of asking yourself negative questions, Ask yourself positive questions. What if you succeed? When we say life's a race, well most times we just our lips moving, but like we really understand it. Otherwise, we reflect on the way we choose to spend our days, the words we say. And maybe we truly learn that while the sun shines, we need to make hay. Instead of running around in circles like a puppy chasing after a still, simply because we're scared of what lies ahead, scared of all the lies in our heads. Forget it. What's been made in our heads? The some of us are so scared that we will start to look for you. Scared you're going to stumble and fumble. Well, you will. 
But you can't reach the finish line if you keep standing at the steps in line. Let me say that again. You can't reach the finish line if you keep standing at the steps in line. So you can choose to let fear hold you back from moving forward. Or you can choose to run no matter what life throws at you. No matter what obstacles you have to dodge or hurdles you have to jump past. They're all part of this race of life. So the troubles are not meant to stop you but prepare you. Because the only thing that can stop you is you. Yes, the only real limitation is your hesitation to strive to become better than yesterday. It's you do it for tomorrow's you. I hope that drives. Hey. And when it feels like the next you're about to get, like you can't run anymore. I hope you remember the miles you've covered. You're always there. And when it feels like you're having an echo of the lungs, like you can't breathe anymore. I hope you remember why you started running in the first place. You're almost there. So you're allowed to stop and catch your breath. You're not allowed to give up. No matter how many times you've been hit. You have to shout up and rise up get fired up and run. Just remember, you can't reach the finish line if you keep standing and stopping them. Again, if you've not subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button, like our video, comment, tell me what you think about this video, and if you got other lessons which I did not point out, and then hit the share button too. Till I come your way next time, I am Chema Nana. Bye.